angry guy here and only fans is becoming the new welfare for broken homeless women guys if you're enjoying these videos and there's a topic you'd like me to cover you can send your topic to me via you can to request a topic for a video see the description below and let's just go ahead and jump right into the video all right so what's your name my name's Adriana Gamboa. Adriana. Adriana Gamboa. How old are you? I'm 30 years old, and uh, if you uh, want to know about me, okay, well then just let me know. Yes, I've been up in the hood, and I've been getting things misunderstood. I told you, yes, I, I've been real, real good, but hey, I'm not real perfect, though, and I told you, yes, man, I'm kind of being slow, because I, I need my medication, ho, so... Don't act like y'all y'all don't know. <laughs> I'm just playing. That was I'm actually just, pretty good. Yeah. Off the top of the head or what? Off the top of the head. No, so but what's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Um, I, I yes, I guess you could say I'm currently um, uh, homeless right now. I haven't been um, in a in a stable situation after I got kicked out of my apartment um, due to the fact that I guess I didn't I, I didn't pay the rent um, because I wasn't uh, working enough hours and I didn't um, didn't make the cut but at the same time uh, I needed help you know what I mean because I do have disabilities and, and, and things that you know affect me on a daily basis and uh, that's uh, one thing that, that could have helped me back then, you know what I mean? Um, in order for me to prevent, you know, that situation happening. Um, and yes, yeah, so right now I'm just working on trying to um, stay clear-headed and, uh, and get, my, get myself together to get my kids back, you know what I mean? And How long ago did you lose your apartment? It's or, been was it a house or an apartment. It was an apartment. It was an apartment, and um, it's been like about two months, two three months maybe. Yeah. Oh, so you're new out here on the streets. Kind of, yeah. Is it dangerous? It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous. I have a paranoia and PTSD and anxiety and all that. So. Is that due to the streets or? It's due to the streets, and yeah, like just running into quite a few characters, you know what I mean? But yeah, no, other than that, I've, I kind of feel pretty safe, you know what I mean? This yeah. is my city and I like, I'm not gonna walk around like all scared, you know, like I live here, you know what I mean? This is my, this is my home. So you know, get down out here. Yeah, like, but at the same time I don't because like I really don't be walking around like people's neighborhoods, you know what yeah. I mean? But Hey, if I fall through, then, you know, I pop up, and that's that's when I pop up. <laughs> so you're from Phoenix, though, right? Yeah. What area did you grow up in? Uh, West West Phoenix. I grew up around West Phoenix. I'm from... Maryville? Um, no, is it Maryville? No, it's not... It is Maryville, what huh? What area was it? Carl Hayden. I, grew, I graduated from Carl Hayden. Is it, like, on 43rd Avenue, you told me? Yeah, 43rd McDowell. And McDowell, that... Yeah, I think that... That is Maryville. Yeah. I, I grew up like on from... Portland, actually. Portland, okay. Portland Street. How was your childhood growing up? My childhood growing up was, uh, it wasn't, um, you know, too pizzazz, but it was, I, mean, I can't complain. It was pretty fun, you know, like growing up with my primos and primas. Uh, the holidays, getting together, it was always good, you know what I mean? You have a big family? Um, I could say yes, I do have a big family. It's lots of family I don't know in all kinds of parts, Texas, Colorado, Washington, Mexico, you know what I mean? But yeah. So you say you went to school at Carl Hayden? Carl Hayden, I also went to Phoenix College. I went to Arizona College for pharmacy tech and um, for for dance and uh, psychology. Did you graduate high school? I graduated high school. Yes. And what about like <laughs> your college? I didn't. Uh, 
finish my college, but I'm I'm trying to get I'm gonna get back into it. Okay. I'm gonna get back into it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you have kids? I do have kids, and I miss them very much. I just um, I don't I don't want to um, like half ass anything like when I when I'm see when I get to see them, you know, like I want to be ready and uh so they could be with me you know what i mean because i know ultimately like they it doesn't matter what i have or what i don't have my kids i know they're always gonna love me who they're with right now they're with their dad their father okay yeah so they're doing good they're guys i'm gonna tell you something man this is so disgraceful and it's so sad you know, and you know, she, she, you could hear that she's mentioning that her kids are with her, with their father, and they're doing well with their father. And this is the results of what happens when a woman wants to do her own thing. She wants to be on the streets. She wants to, she wants to live a certain life. If we look at her, she's not, she's not a bad looking woman. She's 30 years old, to be honest with you. She looks a lot better than a lot of the 23 and 24 and 25 year olds that we've seen that look like 55 and 65 and 70. And like, you know, the Grim Reaper is just like saying, hey, girl, how you doing? And they're like, hey, you, how you doing? Because <laughs> they know each other. They know they know they, they, they know they're going to have to roll together real soon. So they're getting acquainted. But, you know, she doesn't look terrible for 30. She doesn't look too terrible for 30. The problem is that, you know, it's the lifestyle she's living. You basically have to assume everything a woman is saying is a lie or she's, she's leaving out a lot of things. For example, there's this thing called blues that I learned about from you guys. And now you hear about in these videos. There's a lot of these homeless women in Arizona. And, you know, you just look at it like she's not she's not telling the entire truth. She is not telling the entire truth like, oh, I guess I wasn't making enough money for my job. And, oh, you guess you weren't making enough money from your job or you were or you were using certain things. Right. You're using certain substances because that's what it really sounds like right now. Like what's going on? You know, she's she's pretty well kept. She looks decent and it seems like she's staying somewhere. But based on the way she's dressed, like this looks like someone who's who's been on the streets. This like this looks like, looks like someone who goes on dates. Right. Let's just be real about this. You can you can piece these things together very, very quickly. You know, she has family all over. She has tons of family. So Mexico, guys, she she could if she needed to get off the streets, she can go over to Mexico and stay with her family. A lot of these Mexican Mexican women in the United States that are that are homeless in the U.S., they're homeless by choice. Like if you're in San Diego or you're in Arizona or maybe even Texas, bro, you can just go. You can go to a border town. A lot of the time, they have family right across the border, and they do go across the border. They'll go over there, chill with their family, be cool. They have a they have a roof over their head. They have everything they need. Food over there is dirt cheap, dirt cheap, guys. All right, they are up to. They, they, I don't want to say no good, but it's literally it's the equivalent of no good. They can go. They can be over there, and they can be chilling over there and living. I live in Mexico. They can be over there chilling and living very well. So why are they in the United States? Oh, because there's something that they want on the streets. Okay, they rather be on the streets. They're on the streets for a variety of different reasons. So they get access to their substances, so that they can go on dates on the streets and make more money. Because you're not going to make that much money going on dates on the streets in Mexico, but you can make a lot more money, a lot of money doing dates on the streets in the United States. So they're on. So that's why. That's one of the big reasons why they're over there. And trust me, right now, a lot of these girls have an OF. They have an Only Fools account. You're, you know, they're on Lonely Fans. And they're not making that much money because on lonely fans, the average person earns like $181 a month. That's the that's what the average creator earns. And it could be less than that because that's the average. That's not the median. All right. So a lot of these girls are not even earning that. But you know, they they're earning less than a thousand dollars a month. The average the average one is only earning $181. And it's a virtuous cycle because only fools leads to the streets and the streets leads to only fools. So they're making they're going on dates on only fool, they're going on dates on the streets. They're, sell, they're, they're you know they're they're selling their wares on only fools and they're also looking for prospective uh guys that you know want to want to you know do sugar because they like do they do sugaring you know they do sugaring so they're looking for sugar sugar dads on uh sugar dads and sugar gramps on on on, on these platforms and it's, it's it's absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous i remember like 10 years ago some girl hit me up on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I think it was like 10 years ago. And I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? And she's like, she's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And she's talking real chill to me. 
And I'm like, all right, you want to go out? She's like, yeah, sure. But it's going to be this many roses. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm not giving you any money. And she and she literally responded to me like, well, then you're not going to get any kitty. All right. You're not going to get any kitty. And I'm like, excuse me, get, get, bro. This is this is how bad it is right now. This, and you could you could all, this was like this was like 10 years ago, all right? This is like 10 years ago when I first started making content for you guys. And this is how it is and could you imagine how it is now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Girl literally said you're not going to get any kitty. And when I say kitty, I'm using the uh, I'm using the polite word. Using the polite word for it, okay? Only fans is becoming the new welfare for broken homeless women and guys they chose the streets so i say leave them to the streets i want to know your thoughts regarding this if you agree with what i've said here today because i don't, I don't believe in sympathy i don't believe in magic and i don't believe in second chances all right i mean f from jesus maybe but not for me not for me fool me once shame on shame on you fool me twice shame on me all right that's how it is. Her story does not add up. Grew up with tons of primos, primas. That that means cousins. Her cousins. She, she grew up with tons of cousins. All right, tons of abuela. Uh, so she had her grandmother. You know, she had. Uh, you know, she had. She had her aunts and uncles. No, mm -mm. no, something doesn't add up here because she could go to Mexico. She has a big Mexican family in in Arizona. It would appear so that so she so she can she can go crash with them. They would not leave her on the streets like that. All right, she is not telling the truth. She is one hundred percent not telling the truth. She's on the streets because she wants her fix. She's ch she chose to go and, and go and get blues and all this and these substances, probably blues, because she want because she wanted because she wanted that life and it's easier to access these things because on the streets she feels more free. You know, there's there's, there's always going to be a dude like like hey mama, how's it going? You know, how much and, you know, how much for this, how much for a date? And she'll say, oh, OK, this much. And it feels like, oh, shoot, like, you know, like within 10 hours, she's made like six hundred, seven hundred dollars, you know. And even if it's not that, let's say it's three hundred, four hundred dollars, just literally going somewhere and doing nothing. And for her, it feels like nothing. So within like 10 days, these girls will walk around with like four thousand dollars. Like these girls will have like four thousand dollars in ten days, and it will all be gone in ten days. It is a it is a it is a terrible cycle, but that's not my problem. All right, and y'all need to st like li literally wisen up. All right, stop trying to save her. She doesn't want to be saved. Let's talk more about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Man, walking away and cheers.